Hello everyone, it's me Abdul Basit from Kerala. Welcome to my CBSE Arabic class of 9th standard. Today we are gonna learn Al Hindu Qalbi. India is my heart. So it's a poem about India. It starts with Biladul Hindi Qalbi Nahnu Inna Lanafharu Biturathiki Kulla Yawma The country India is my heart. We are proud of your legacy every day. Biladul Hind the country India Qalbi is my heart. Nahnu we inna nahnu we inna lanafkharu we are proud of you your biturathika your legacy kulla yawma every day. Ayaka bdi wa anti lana ka janna budhur al hubbi nagrisuha Dawama. O oh my liver, you are like a paradise for us. The seeds of love we plant for our Ayakabdi, O oh my liver, wa anti lana, wa anti you, kajanna. You are like a paradise, lana for us. So you are like a paradise for us. Budurul hubbi nagrisuha dawama. The seeds of love. Budur seeds. Hub love. Nagrisuha dawama. We plant for our. Fanajini minki thamaratin ledida. فَتُعْطِينَا بِأَنْبَاعِ النَّعِيمَةِ We will reap delicious fruits from you. So, give us all kinds of bliss. فَنَجِنِي We will reap minki from you. ثَمَرَاتِ Fruits لَذِيذَ Delicious فَتُعْطِينَا So give us بِأَنْبَاعِ النَّعِيمَ All kinds of bliss. لَدَيْنَا كُلُّ أَدِيَانٍ وَهُنَّ تَجْمَعُنَا وَلَيْسَ هُنَاكَ لَوْمَ We have all religions. They bring us together. And there is no blame. Ladaina we have Kullu Adiyan all religions. Wahunatj Maruna they bring us together. Bi uh Walaisa Hunaka Loma and there is no blame. Wamina Muslimun Hindusu Jina Nasara Budiyun Badisi Jamma. There are Muslims, Hindus, Jain, Christian, Buddhist, and Parsis together. Muslim, Hindus, Jain, Jina, Jain. Nasara Christian, Bodhi Buddhist, uh, Barisi Parsis, together Jamma, together. Kabadirin Lamirin Yabudu Ulaka Wa Asma Anti Sabiqatun Uluma. There are many religions here. How like a bright moon that appears above you and you are superior in 
knowledge. Kabadirin lamiin, like a bright moon, yabdu ulaka that appears above you, wa asma anti sabiqatun uluma, and you are superior in knowledge. وقد نيرت أجيالا كثيرة وقد ربيت أصنافا كرامة You have enlightened many generations and you have brought up noble classes وقد نيرت You have enlightened أجيالا كثيرة uh, many Generations, وقد ربيتي, and you have brought أصناف كرامة, brought up noble classes. ونحن هنود إخوان وإنا سنأبى أن نقاتل في الخصومة. We are Indian brothers. We refuse to engage in disputes and fight with each other. ونحن هنود We are Indians. هنود إخوان Indian brothers. وإنا سنأبى We refuse أن نقاتل To engage in uh, dip disputes and fight with each other and نقاتل fight each other خصومة disputes وطوبى للبلاد ملائة أمنا لأهلك لا نخاف لديك هما blessed are the countries which filled security for your family we are not Afraid of you. Tuba lil bilad. Blessed are the countries. Malaat amna which feel the security. Li ahlika for your family. La nakhafu ladayki hamma. We are not afraid of you. Fidaki aban wa umman. Anti fina. Karuhin. Mila anfusina. Salama. I sacrifice you as a father and as a mother. You are among us as a spirit fills ourselves with peace. So, Fidaki, Aban Ba Umma, I sacrifice you as a father, as a mother. Wa Antifina, you are Antifina, you are among us. Karuhin. As a spirit, mil aam fusina fills ourselves that fills us salama peace. So that's all about the poem Hasna bint Muhammad. The order of this poem is Hasna bint Muhammad. Now let's have a look into the exercise. تمارين اكسسيز The first one ننشد المنظومة ونختار منه خمسة ألفاظ تنتهي بالتاء المربوطة So uh, let's uh, read the poem and find from the poem uh, five words which ends with التاء المربوطة تاء المربوطة you know like, yeah, the first example is given here. Jannat. Okay, here. Jannatun. The last. Hata. That's Ta'ul Marbuta. Ta'ul Marbuta. Okay. So, that's the first exercise. We have to find it from the poem. So, uh, if we go here, we can just find it. Like Tajma'una. Uh, is there any word? Can you see? Can you see? But, uh, yeah. 
Ledida. Here you can see. Ledida. Okay. Then. Mm, you can't find it. Yeah, there are many words. You just find it. Jannat Ladida Sabiqat. Here, Sabiqa. Okay. Just find how many words? Five words. If you find, you can, you will get it. Okay. And the second exercise is Nulahulu ma'anil manluma wa numayizu bainul jumalil ismiya wal fi'liya. Let's notice the meanings of these sentences and distinguish between nominal and verbal sentences. Jumlatun ismiya and jumlatun fi'liya. We already studied it. Jumlatun ismiya starts with a noun and jumlatun fi'liya a sentence starts with a verb. Okay, ismiya starts with a sentence starts with a noun. Fairly, yeah, starts with the verb. Okay, so let's look. Naftakhiru biturath al Hindi wa naatazu bihalaratiham. We are uh, proud of the parts of India and proud of its uh, civilization. So it's a jumlatun ismiya. Sorry, fairly, yeah, because it starts with verb. Number two, تَغْرِسُ الْهِنْدُ الْحُبَّ وَالسَّلَامَ فِي قُلُوبِ النَّاسِ India instills love and peace in people's hearts. So here also we can see it as a جملة فعلية because it starts with a verb. Three, تقدم الهند ثمراته اللذيذة المتنوعة India offers various delicious fruits to its children. So this one also Jumlatun Fialiya because it starts with a verb. Tasmul Hindu Bilhalarati Wal Ulu. India transcends civilization and science. This one also, Jumlatun Fi'liya, because it starts with a verb, with a fi'al. Al-Hindu Mahudun Lil-Muslimina Wal-Hindusu Wal-Nasara Wa-Ghayrihim. India is a cradle for Muslims, Hindus, Christians and others. This one is Jumla Ismiya, because it starts with a noun and the same. Al Hindu Kabadirin Munirin Yunirul Alam India is like a full moon illuminating the world. That's also a jum a jumlatun ismiya. Okay, nominal sentence because it starts with noun. Al Hunudu Kajasadin Bahidin Yaubal Husuma. The Indians are one body that refuses to fight. Here also we can see Jumlatun Ismiya because it starts with noun. Al Hindu Ardul Amni Wasalam. India is the land of security and peace. This one also. Jumlatun um, Ismiya starts with noun. Okay. Next one. Nakhtaru min al Jumlatun Taliya. أوصافا مناسبة لبلد طيب. Choose from the following sentences suitable descriptions of a good country. How a good country should be. Some points are given here. We have to find these points. Whether it is uh, good for a country. Or bad okay so we are gonna find the good things of a country okay 
نول يحافظ البلد الطيب على شعوبه ويدافع عن أهله دائما. A good country preserves its people and always defends its people. Is it good? Yeah. It's a description of a good country. Yes. Number two. يعيش أهل الأديان المختلفة في البلد الطيب بخوف وألم. People of different religions live in a good country with fear and pain. Is it good? No, it's bad. It's a, it's a description of a bad country. Okay. الحضارة والثقافة من سمات البلد الطيب Civilization and culture are the characteristics of a good country Yeah, of course It's the characteristics of a good country Yeah الحضارة Yeah, okay البلد الطيب لا يسمح الحرية للمواطنين a good country does not allow freedom for its citizens. Not at all. It's not a description of a good country. It's a description of a bad country. Okay. يعيش الناس في البلد الطيب بأمن وأمان. People live in a good country in safety and security. Yeah. Of course, it's a description of a good country. The next one is نستعمل الكلمات الآتية في الجمل البسيطة. Let's uh, use the following words in simple sentences. So examples are given here. There are some words uh, flowed by this question. So we have to make sentences using those words. So the first one is الثمرات the fruits الثمرات لذيذة the fruits are delicious okay الحب love okay it's we can make many sentences you see okay النعمة grace الأديان religions البلاد countries الشجرة Tree, al -watan. country or motherland or anything, yeah. And here, نعين الصفة والموصوفة من الجمل تانية. We have to identify the adjective and the noun from the following sentences. Before that, we should know what is Adjective uh, and noun. Sifat and mausuf in Arabic. So let's learn that first. Okay, so descriptive phrase. Al murakabul wasfi. Okay, that we are gonna learn now. So it's very simple. Baytun nalifun. A clean house. So, here, Nalifun is a description for bait. Okay? Uh, uh, like, baitun, clean house, bad house. Okay? Uh, uh, or, uh, big house, small house. We give description for some items. That's called Sifat. So here, Nalif Sifat Baitun Mausuf. Nalif Sifat. That's the description. And which one is descriptor will be Mausuf. Okay. So both have same ending vowels. Both are masculine and both are singular and both are indefinite. Okay, so uh, if it is 
a masculine uh, it, it should be a masculine like baitun nalifun okay uh, but if it is a uh, female uh, like um, feminine so we have to like um, uh, jannatun jannat it has hata so it's a uh, uh, feminine so we have to say jannatun nalifatun adding hata ta al marbuta at the end okay and um, then a uh, singular if it is a uh, singular uh, we uh, the sifat also should be if mausuf is singular sifat also should be singular like uh, oh yeah baitun nalifun here singular and if it is dual like baitani so we have to say baitani nalifani and if it is uh, plural we have to make it plural then indefinite uh, if there is alif lam in bait we should give alif lam in the sifat also like al baitul an nalifu we have to say like that or uh, if there is no alif lam like this we can say baitul nalifu no problem so these are the things uh, we should uh, follow sifa and mausuf must be same in four things ending vowels gender singular or plural definite or indefinite now uh, let's examine these sentences given here ha iqbalu allahu tawbata sadiqa god aspects sincere repentance so here at tawbata sadiqata as sadiqata is sifat tawbata mausuf Look at the sentence. Look at the word. Here there is alif lam in at tawbata So there is alif lam in sadiqat also. There is ta'ul marbuta in uh, uh, alif uh, tawbat. So there is ta'ul marbuta in as sadiqat also. Okay. So tawbat is singular. Sadiqat is singular. Okay. Like. Then taqa'u madrasutuna fi hayyin jameelin. Here, hayin jameel. Hayin. Uh, jameel sifat hayin mausuf. The sifat uh, mausuf comes first. Then sifat comes. So, hayin. There is no ta'ul marbuta. So, there is no ta'ul marbuta in jameel also. And there is no alif lam. At-tajiru okay. al-aminu. At-tajiru al-aminu mahbub. Uh, so, Taqaw Madrasatuna Fi Hain Jamil means our school is located in a nice uh, neighborhood. And At-Tajirul Aminu Mahbuban, an honest trader is beloved. Okay. So, At-Tajir, there is a liflam in At-Tajir. Tajir is mausuf, Al-Amin Sifat. Al uh, there is a liflam in both. Both are singular. Ha'ulai Rijalun Swalihun. Rijalun Swalihun. Here, Salihun is Sifat, Rijal is Mausuf. Okay. Rijal is given description here as Salihun. So, here, Rijalun is plural. So, Salihun also should be plural. Hunaka Imaratun Kabira. Imaratun Kabira. So, Haulai Rijalun Salihun means these are good men. And Hunaka Imaratun Kabira Tun Madrasa, there is a large building for the school. So, Imaratun has Hata here and Kabiratun also. And the next one, Nu'iddu Mudakkiratan and Watanin al-Hindi bi Musa'adati al naqati taliya Let's prepare note about our home country, India, with the help of the following points. So, we can add um, these points when we make a note. Uh, about our country so what are the points here istiqlal hind the independence of india harakatul istiqlal uh, independence movements abul watan father of nation mahatma ji awwal rais al wazara the first prime minister adadul wilayat the number of states asimatan 
capital of the country hayat nas life of the people and here we can we have to study al murakkabul wasfi we already studied it so if you want to get the pdf of grammar portions or the pdf of this textbook just contact me in this number 9789 